Welcome back to another App Daily News. Today we talk about the signature of Justin Barron and Albert Jekai. Following by the roster for the upcoming season at the position defenseman. And finally we're going to talk about this friend battle we're going to see and watch at the main camp for the Montreal Canadiens. First of all, the first subject is about Justin Barron and Jekai. Both of them signed a two-year extension contract, Barron at $1.150 and Jekai at $1.3 million AAV with the Montreal Canadian. Now, Barron, a 25th overall pick by the Colorado Avalanche in 2020, trade to the Montreal Canadian and returned to Arturi Lekonen. Since he joined the Montreal Canadian, his lack of consistency to keep his spot in NHL. And the reason is because his lack of physicality and his lack of winning the battle against the board. If you look about the other side of the game, the offensive side of the game, Barron has a lot of skill. Great on the first pass. Great skater. Thirdly, he is good on the rush, on the transition, and one is in the offensive zone. This is where Barron is so good. He really smart to see the play and spade in front of him. And that's the reason he is a kind of offensive defenseman we know about Justin Barron. Is it good enough for him to keep his spot for the upcoming season? We'll see. Right now, he is considered to be a part of the roster. But like last year, play only for the eight game with seven goals, six assists for a total of 13 points. Unfortunately, he was sent down at some point and he played 32 more games during his season 2023-2024 with the Laval Rocket and he scored two goals with nine assists for a total of 11 points. But I think this is a great signature to get Justin Barron locked up for the next two years. And then we got the signature of Albert Jekai at $1.3 million. He never been drafted, signed a contract with a Montreal Canadian three years ago. Jekai become the first undrafted defenseman jumping from OHL straight to the NHL. This is pretty impressive if you look about his accomplishment with the Montreal Canadian in the last two seasons. Obviously, both years he played with the Montreal Canadian, have a shoulder injury, and he did not complete the full year season with the Montreal Canadian. Play only 51 games the first year and 44 last year with the Montreal Canadian. The good things about Jekai, we know his toughness, 6'4", 240. We know his physicality in the game, and thirdly for me, Jekka is a really good defenseman on the offensive side of the game. Great shot, power slap shot. He has a lot of accuracy for a defenseman like Jekka at 6'4". What you need to improve is his gap control, his consistency to win his battle, and to shut down the men one versus one. I feel like Jekai is going to become a solid third-pairing defenseman in NHL. And you never know, he could become a second-pairing in NHL. Example like Danev or Kudas. We'll see what he's going to do in the next uh, two years. But the good news is he's locked up in the next two years with a Montreal Canadian. Again, this is a great accomplishment for the general manager. Can use consciousness to delivery. Great signature, a low cost for his template of the salary cap to get Baron at 1.1 and Jakai at 1.3. This is a great job again by the general manager. Now, let's talk about the Montreal Canadian roster for the upcoming season as a position of defenseman. I did a graphic for you. You're going to see we have seven defensemen Madison, Coley, Jakai, Saval, Aris. Baron and Straubel. The only defenseman on that list is waiver exam is Straubel. What happening now for Hudson, Rebacher, Mayu, and Engstrom? They could win a spot at the main camp if they perform very well. In my opinion, the only players I feel is going to start a Montreal Canadian, it's Lane Hudson. It's not guaranteed because that we give six left defensemen and two only right defensemen, Saval and Baron. To do that, you have to put Coley on the right side 
And the Montreal Canadiens have to carry on eight defensemen at the beginning of the season with 13 forward. We're going to talk about this the next couple of minutes. For me, Ray Barker and Mayu need to start the upcoming season with the Laval Rocket. Again, if they have a great main camp, everything could change. Maybe one of them is going to be a part of Montreal Canadiens in Austin, South Laval. You never know. But definitely for Adam Ekstrom, I think him, it would be benefit his start is a career professional with the Laval Rocket. Now, if the Montreal Canadiens fit good about Hudson, Rebacher, or Mayu, or maybe two of them to start the season with the Montreal Canadiens, I feel like possible Montreal trade Jordan Harris just before the beginning of the season. If it's not, this is the seventh defenseman I believe you're going to start with the Montreal Canadiens. And don't be surprised they add Lane Hudson inside of that roster for upcoming season. The problem, every night you have to sit two defensemen. If it's the case, now it's better for Hudson, Rebacher, and Mayu to be allowed to play big minutes until something could happen in the roster of the Montreal Canadiens for the upcoming season 2024-2025. And that's what I feel it could happen for the beginning of the season with the abs. Finally, my last subject of the day is about at the main camp, what are the battles? I feel like Montreal Canadiens are not going to make any change until the beginning of the season. So they're not going to add a new players. This is my feeling about the roster. So for me, the first thing you're going to have a battle is to know who is going to be on the top six forward beside New Hook and Kobe Doc. Is it Armia, Joshua Roy, Gallagher, Josh Anderson? But this is going to be something we're going to watch as a Montreal Canadiens fans. Who is going to win the top six forward at the beginning on the second line for the upcoming season? My second ballon I'm going to look is about the RHP. He's going to be out for a minimum at least four months. That open spot. If you put Pesada in the top 12, This is going to become the extra forward. Who is going to win that battle? Is it Emil Eneman? Alex Barry Boulet he is not a waiver exam, or it could be Owen Beck. This is the three player I'm looking for to get the extra forward for the upcoming season 2024-2025. Like exactly what we talk about, Rebacher, Mayu Hudson, possible Owen Beck would be more benefit for him to play with the Laval Rocket to get more minutes. Remember, you have 23 spots in the roster in NHL. Two goaltender that will give you 21 skater. Sometimes team go with 14 forward, seven defensemen, two goaltender. Sometimes they go with 13 forward, eight defensemen, and two goalies. And honestly, I'm a little bit 50-50 on that one because our HP is out. That will give Montreal Canadiens 12 forward under contract. Like I mentioned, it could be Barry Boulet, Beck, or any other prospect like Eneman. Or you can add two of them that will give them 14 forward and that will give you seven defensemen. We we'll just talk about them from Madison, Coley, Jekai, Saba, Aris, Baron, and finally the extra D it would be Straubel. If you go with eight defensemen, Montreal Canadiens have to keep Hudson, Rebacher, Omeyu, or Engstrom to complete the roster defenseman at 8. It's not about the 13, 14, or 7, 8. It's to be sure those young players stay with Montreal Canadiens and they get a lot of minutes to play. I don't want to have a Owen Beck play 7 minutes per game. I don't want to see Owen Beck L2 scratch. Same situation with the defenseman. If they bring Hudson, Rebacher or Mayu, if they don't play a minimum 16 to 18 minutes per game, that's not good. For the development, it would be better for all of them play with the Laval Rocket and add more TOI. And that's it. That's all, my friend. That's what I got today on the Ab Daily News. I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think about the signature of Justin Barron and Albert Jekai. Is it great? Is it good or is it bad? Then, what do you think about the roster of the defensemen for the Montreal Canadiens? Do you think my selection of the 7D is properly right? Or do you think a player like Arsene Rebacher Mayu could be part of the upcoming roster 
at the beginning of the season 2024 and 2025. And finally, what do you think about the battle at the main camp? Which one are you looking for? Is it the top six forward second line? Is it the extra forward to take the spot of RHP? Or is it a spot as the defenseman to be a part of the upcoming season roster with the Montreal Canadian? That's it. That's all, my friend. Don't forget, leave me a comment. Click on the like, subscribe. And of course, remember, you have greatness inside of you. And we wish you an amazing, great, blessed day, everybody. 